Hello, and welcome to Northwood, our Northwood University private high school webinar. My name is Sarah Luker, and I am an admissions representative from West Michigan. I am glad you have joined us. We have some exciting things planned for you throughout this webinar and hope you find it both helpful and informative. I'd like to start out by explaining a bit about our agenda for this webinar. We will be hearing from Dr. Tim, academic dean and associate professor who will talk about our mission, values, and code of ethics, as well as how our students give back to their communities. She will also touch on our unique academic programs and some of our cool opportunities for students to get hands-on experience. Greg Stifler, Director of our Career Advancement, will be joining us to discuss the networking, co-op, and internship opportunities available. He will also share information about the resources available to students through the Career Services Department. You will hear from him about the success of our graduates. We will have four recent alumni and two current Northwood students joining us as well. They all graduated from private high schools. We will hear from them about their experiences at Northwood and some of the reasons why they chose to attend Northwood University. At any time throughout the presentation, if you have a question, please use the Q&A button on the right-hand side of your screen. We will be sure to address it. Now, at this point, I would like to introduce Dr. Patty Tim. She will take it from here. Thanks, Sarah. So as Sarah said, I am Academic Dean of the Undergraduate Programs, um, but to give you a little background, I actually came to Northwood to teach accounting full time. So I do have experience in the classroom and what I share with you, I share from multiple perspectives as a faculty member, as the Dean, and as someone who gets a chance to talk to students on a daily basis. So I do understand um, how students are are thinking and why they made their choice for, for Northwood. So at Northwood University, we believe in the advantages of an entrepreneurial free enterprise society. We believe in individual freedom and personal responsibility and functioning from a foundation of ethics and integrity. We also believe in promoting and leveraging the global, diverse, and multicultural nature of enterprise. So the core purpose of Northwood University is to develop leaders, managers, and entrepreneurs with the character and skills to drive personal, organizational, and societal success. So why Northwood? You have many, many choices, and it can get a little confusing at times. So many universities seem to be similar, maybe similar size, similar majors. Uh, so, so why would you pick Northwood, and why, why did I pick Northwood as the place that I wanted to, to serve? First of all, we do have this entrepreneurial environment. So our bu professional business core classes those are all designed to develop professionals that will be successful in the business world. And because our students are well educated in the benefits of the free enterprise system, they understand how entrepreneurs can solve social and economic problems. We know that our students learn this because our alumni think like entrepreneurs, even if they don't own their own businesses. In those cases, we would call them intrapreneurs. They have that entrepreneurial mindset that they utilize inside the organization they, they work for. But others actually do own their own businesses. Because of this entrepreneurial mindset, 34% of our surveyed alumni own part or all of their own business within five years of graduation. So it's a very interesting and unique environment. You also will start classes in your major year one. You'll start it in your freshman year. You'll immediately get to jump into the industry that you're passionate about. 
And this usually means that our students are prepared at least a year earlier than other students for internships. Our curriculum is designed to prepare you to be successful in your career. Every class and every interaction with faculty is to prepare you for the career and in industry that you are excited about. The other good thing about starting your freshman year in your major classes is you might find that it's not exactly what you thought it would be and you have time to experiment and determine where your passion really lies. We have small class sizes. Average class size is 22 students. And this does give you an opportunity to build relationships with your professors and department chairs. And they become your first professional network. We do have uniquely qualified faculty. As I discussed, you know, me coming as a faculty member, I represent what many faculty members are like. I come to Northwood with 28 years of experience um, working in industry, in the accounting industry. So I was able to bring real world experiences into the classroom. And that's what we have with our, our faculty. They're academically qualified to teach, uh, but they have that additional work experience. And many of them are still working in the industry or they may own their own consulting firm or their own business and they continue to bring that current experience into the classroom. We do have an extensive listing of study abroad and exchange programs that you can participate in. So we have short-term study abroad, which can be seven to 10 days. Uh, trips have gone to places like Costa Rica, Argentina. Um, I happen to go on a trip to Vienna and Prague. So um, many, exciting places to go with a faculty lead and earning academic credit. We also have a unique program that offers students the opportunity to spend a semester in Europe. So they get to spend 12 weeks touring through Europe and Asia using those countries as their classroom. It's professor led, they are earning credit for the courses that they're taking during that time, but they're experiencing that coursework in Europe. We also have exchange programs across the world where you can go for four weeks or an entire academic year. Uh, currently, we have a student um, that I am very familiar with that is studying in Israel. So that's a wonderful opportunity as well. We also have an accelerated bachelor to MBA program that allows qualifying students the opportunity to accelerate their coursework in order to complete their bachelor's degree in three years and then use their undergraduate merit scholarship to help pay for the one year of an accelerated MBA. This is especially good for students who come in with AP, dual enrollment or early middle college credit hours. It makes it very manageable. So our students can come in even with no college credit and complete both their bachelor's and their master's degree in four years. We have a very robust student success support system. So starting this fall, every freshman will be assigned a success coach to help them with their transition to college. So meeting regularly with a success coach um, in addition to an academic advisor. So that's the base of your team. And then you have your department chair, your faculty, we have tutoring, um, library services. So uh, the support for student success is extremely important to us at Northwood University. And it's comprehensive, including and the educational success program, which is for students who uh, come into Northwood needing a little jump start with being college ready. So that's a special program for them as well. So Sarah mentioned that we would talk about Go Mad Day. So Go Mad Day is a representation of our culture at Northwood to make a difference. Go Mad is a phrase that was coined by our late head football coach, Pat Reitmer. He would end every practice with this, the football players all saying, go mad. So go make a difference. And every year we spend an entire day 
we have um, at least 800 volunteer hours at the very minimum um, that are used to support nonprofits in the Midland community. And as a board member of the Midland County United Way, I see it from both sides. I see it from the organizations that benefit and from our students and the joy that they get from um, making a difference. Fresh Air is the acronym that we use to um, talk about our code of ethics. Each letter in Fresh Air is the first letter of one of the criteria of our code of ethics, and all of our freshmen sign the code of ethics during their opening convocation welcome weekend. So Fresh Air stands for freedom, respect, empathy, spirituality, honesty, achievement, integrity, and responsibility. And we believe that wholeheartedly. To be a successful business person, you need to be an ethical business person, and our code of ethics is the bedrock of that philosophy. So at that, Sarah, back to you. Dr. Tim, well, wonderful. So at this point, I am really excited to introduce our student panel and alumni that have joined us today to help um, with this webinar. So Angela Lindau was a 2016 graduate of Mercy High School located in Farmington Hills, Michigan. She graduated Northwood in 2020 with her bachelor's degree in insurance risk management and a minor in finance. She participated in the following student clubs, our sorority, signature events team, Northwood Auto Show, and Gamma Iota Sigma. She founded Sorry. She founded the Gamma Delta chapter of Gamma Iota Sigma Insurance Fraternity and served as a president for two years. She resided on campus all four years. She currently lives in Chicago and works at Aon. She is a junior broker on the treaty reinsurance team. Preston Earl was a 2021 graduate of Warren De La Salle Collegiate High School located in Warren, Michigan. He is a freshman at Northwood majoring in Operation and Supply Chain Management. He is active in our ping pong club, cross country, and track. This year he also participated in the auto show and the Stafford dinner. He resides in Du Bois Hall, our freshman dorms for men. Morgan Panning was a 2016 graduate of Livingston Christian High School in Brighton, Michigan. Her major while attending Northwood was Operation and Supply Chain Management and Marketing. Morgan qualified for our Accelerated 3 Plus 1 program, where she was able to complete her bachelor's and master's degrees in four years, saving a lot of time and money. She finished up with her bachelor's in 2019 and her MBA in 2020. She participated in the following student clubs, Emerging Leaders, Student Government, Auto Show, Circle K, Rotaract, Renew, Signature Events Team, Freedom Week, Supply Chain Advisory Council, and American Production and Inventory Control Society. She was also the Varsity Volleyball Team Manager. Her special projects consisted of Freedom Week, Go Mad Day, and Outstanding Business Leader Awards. She lived on campus all four years. Currently, Morgan is a project engineer at Artesian Tile Incorporated. She worked for a little over a year as a warehouse and logistics supervisor before coming to her family company. And I personally wanna put a shout out to Morgan for helping me organize and arrange this event tonight. Justin LaRue was a 2016 graduate of De La Salle Collegiate High School in Warren, Michigan. He pursued our accelerated bachelor's master's program where he was also able to complete both degrees in four years. He completed his MBA in 2021 and received his bachelor's in business management with a minor in marketing in 2020. While at Northwood, he participated in DECA and played on our hockey team. 
Other activities included the Auto Show, Go Mad Day, and he was also a collegiate ambassador for Monster Energy. He lived on campus during his first year of college. A highlight for him was being able to study abroad for one semester in Europe with his brother, Jared LaRue. Currently, Justin is working for Monster Energy in St. Louis, Missouri as a field sales representative. Jared LaRue was a 2018 graduate of De La Salle Collegiate High School. He also pursued our accelerated bachelor's master's program. He is finishing his MBA and, his, and last year he received his bachelor's in finance and management. He played on our men's hockey team. While at Northwood, he restarted and participated in the Finance Association of Northwood. He also participated in our signature events team, Project 100, developed the Financial Leadership Summit, and participated in the OmniQuest Task Force. During his freshman year, he resided in the dorms. He completed a co-op at Next Year Automotive as a manufacturing financial analysis. He studied abroad for one semester in Europe with his brother, Justin. Northwood's accelerated bachelor's master's program was one of his main drivers to attend. Adam Chrysler was a 2019 high school graduate of Calvary Baptist Academy located in Midland, Michigan. He is majoring in finance with a minor in economics. He will be graduating Northwood next month, May of 2022. While attending Northwood, he has been involved in Mock Trial, the Finance Association of Northwood, Standing in the Gap, and our Ultimate Frisbee Club. He has participated in our auto show and the Northwood University Fashion Show, as well as he has lived on campus for three years. I wanna thank all these students for joining us today. So at this point, we are gonna open up the panel to be able to get some questions answered about how your experiences have been at Northwood University. So I have a question. We're gonna start with Morgan and then go down the list here. So we'll start with Morgan, then Angela, Jared, Justin, Preston, and Adam. Um, one word to describe living in the dorms. So Morgan, I'll let you kick that off. Okay, if I had to pick one word, it would probably be socializing just because that was my favorite thing about living in the dorms is that you always had, um, I don't know, at least like 40 or 50 people you could probably go hang out with and walk down the hall or go to the dining hall at any time. Um, and I really liked being that close to everybody, which is why I chose to live on campus all four years so I could get that social interaction the whole time I was there. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, I would say echoing off of Morgan, community would be how I would describe living on campus all four years. And Morgan was actually my uh, neighbor for, I think, three out of the four years. So again, just being really close to everyone and knowing everyone that you live by is awesome. All right, Adam, I'm seeing your image next on my screen. So we're going to go to you. Sure. Yeah, um, if I would describe the experience in the dorms, I would say dynamic. Um, one of the reasons just the activity going around or on around you all the time is always something to do, as they mentioned, uh, like Angela and Morgan, always people to hang out with. And then also dynamic in that, you know, um, you go through positive change as far as learning how to live with people and just all the interactions that you'll uh, experience. So it was a great time. Thank you. Justin. Yeah, uh, everybody kind of stole my my uh, word as well too. But I would say community and uh, convenience probably for living on campus. You got all your friends right around you. You have the calf to eat food, or uh, and you just have all the sports arenas around too. You can walk anywhere, walk all around campus, um, and even the the groups and get-togethers with the clubs is just right there on campus. So it's uh, it's all about the community and the convenience that was on campus for me. Thank you. Preston, and then we'll finish that one up with Jared, who joined us on the phone. So Preston, go ahead. Uh, I would say friendship. I feel like coming in as a freshman, you learn 
to make friends and you bump into new people every day within your hall and other areas and campus and you never kind of miss out on the events going on campus. Thank you, Preston. Jared. Yeah, I would describe it as innovative. I remember hanging out with a lot of my friends and we would just be sitting around either in a room or in some of the uh, dorm uh, lounges. And we would just kind of be talking about some of the business ideas that we've been having or or talking about recent news that we've heard of and, and sharing some ideas. So there's a lot of ideas that flow through the dorms and especially being in close proximity to people who are either, you know, think differently or, or feel differently about certain situations. You've got, a, you've got a lot of collaboration and you're able to share and uh, exchange knowledge. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your feedback. The next question is uh, for Morgan and then Adam. Uh, what drew you to Northwood and what did Northwood offer that the other schools you looked into didn't have? We'll start with you, Morgan. Okay, well, I actually, um, I applied to like 14 different schools probably, I think, and I went on some out-of-state visits. And there were a lot of beautiful campuses. Um, I'd say Northwood was probably one of the top three as far as how beautiful the campus was. I liked that it was in the woods, but I think the two most important things to me were the values at Northwood. Um, I really appreciated the emphasis on personal responsibility, limited government, and a strong work ethic. Um, and then along with that, I also felt that I had opportunities to engage um, my Christian values on campus through different organizations. But when I did my on-campus visit, I was able to sit in on one of Professor Hopp's um, entrepreneurship classes. So I thought that was a really cool opportunity. Um, the other students and Professor Hopp engaged me in the class and I really liked the lesson that um, he taught. I thought it was really practical and relevant and it made me excited to um, go to college and learn. So those were my biggest things. Thank you, Morgan. How about for you, Adam? What drew you to Northwood and what did Northwood offer that perhaps some of the other schools you were looking at um, didn't have? Yeah, so actually the two main things that drew me to Northwood and that most schools didn't have were already brought up by Dr. Tim. The first one of those being uh, the ability to jump into your major class uh, your first semester. And that was really crucial, I thought, because that um, would really tell you if what you thought you were interested in is actually an interest for you. So that's just great um, to get that started right away. And then secondly, the uh, BBA MBA program, where you have the opportunity to uh, like save time and money uh, at the same time. So three years for your bachelor's and then that uh, MBA option in your fourth year. Great. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, next on deck will be Jared and Preston, and I'm curious to hear from each of you as to why choosing a private school was important to you. Jared, we'll start with you. So I really like Northwood University and the private education just because I feel as though Northwood actually valued me as a student as opposed to one of the bigger public universities where I'd be sitting in a classroom with, you know, several uh, tens of like whether it's 50 70 or even possibly 100 other students in a big lecture hall and the professor wouldn't even know if I was there or not rather at Northwood where uh, they really value the student and they invest in them I would be able or I have a close collaboration with my professors all my professors know my name and they all really value who I am as a student and they take an investment in me into my in, and in my future and so they want to see me, to see me succeed and so that's one of the reasons that I really like the private education is just because they invest more in me as a student thank you Jared how about for you Preston uh, I like the private education kind of like what Jared said was for the value I believe uh, Northwood offers a good quality education where you can uh, personally engage with professors and classmates through projects or just outside of the classroom conversations. And I also believe that you're able to get hands-on experience with your major earlier on that I feel like other places don't offer that. 
I just think that's very unique because of what it is and Northwood stands for. Thank you very much. All right, Morgan and Jared are on next here or on deck next. So if you could please talk about any internships, hands-on learning or extracurricular experience you had, and even perhaps touching on any networking opportunities you had while at Northwood. Morgan, take it away. Wow, well, I think that's a really long question to answer since that's probably <laughs> one of, I think, the most beneficial things about Northwood is uh, um, hands-on learning, but I participated in Auto Show for the first three years, I ended up on the executive board as a logistics chair for my third year there. And then even my fourth year, I wasn't directly involved, but I worked with the university to help um, give some guests of the university a tour during auto show. So I was still able to be involved in an informal capacity. Um, I also participated on the executive board for student government, um, Freedom Week. So I got to help bring on some speakers to campus. And then I, um, I developed really good relationships with my professors and they were able to help me secure um, very relevant internships to my major, uh, which was operations and supply chain management. So I got experience during the school year through all of the different activities. And then also um, during the summer, I had two different internships while I was there. And then I started working before I even graduated with my MBA and DeVos. Thank you. Excellent. Jared? Yeah, so in terms of professional experience, Northwood has been exceptional in that manner just because uh, one of the first events that I attended as a student, as a freshman, was the career fair that Northwood hosts every fall. And they, they host another one in spring, but this one happened to be in the fall. And I was actually able to secure an internship at Merrill Lynch Wealth Management, which is a subsidiary of Bank of America, my freshman year, summer. And so, as, as people alluded to earlier in the, in the presentation, Northwood really gives you the capabilities in order to get out into the field that you want to start studying early on and get that professional experience, which for most students in a public university, they don't get that opportunity for another until they're juniors or even seniors. And so that was one of my first experiences uh, in the professional sense. And I've had summer internships every year since then, partially due to the, thanks to Northwood. And additionally to that, I'm currently working at Next Year Automotive in a co-op position. So I'm working while attending school full time at the master, in the master's program at DeVos. So I'm working 32 hours a week while getting my MBA, and it's been a great experience. And Northwood has so many great connections with companies in the Midland and Saginaw Bay, Re Bay region, and it's just a great opportunity. And as Morgan alluded to, there are numerous, too many to count opportunities for students to get involved on campus and get hands-on experience. Just one of the things that I've personally been working on this year is the development of the Finance Association of Northwood University, as well as the development of the Financial Leadership Summit, which is an event in which we're going to bring financial professionals onto campus to speak to students about their respective uh, disciplines within the financial industry. Thanks. Thank you, Jared. Uh, the next one is for Preston and Adam. Uh, what advice? do you have for the students who are attending our webinar as they explore options for life after high school and kind of shopping around for colleges? Preston? I would say just be open-minded. I know as when I was visiting very limited colleges I could visit due to COVID, it was kind of different seeing every college what they had to offer. I would say just stay open-minded and kind of think where you, where you could see yourself for the next few years because uh, you want to feel like you're at home. Thank you. How about for you, Adam? Yeah, I would I would agree with Preston, um, especially if you can get on campus and have a campus tour. Um, it's just best in my personal experience to just envision yourself, whether you, uh, if you could see yourself, you know, at whatever university you're at at that point, um, just living there as far as the uh, the academic environment, the social, the social environment, you have to consider all the factors. And then even possibly talking to any faculty or professors you could 
um, at any of your areas of interest would really be beneficial. Great, thank you so much. Justin and Angela, you're up next. What values did you see in Northwood that aligned with your personal values and beliefs? Justin? Uh, what values I feel like uh, aligned were with uh, the teachers and the students. Um, I really valued having the open discussions in class, uh, especially in my master's program. There was a lot of uh, open discussion and, and speaking with professors, gathering different ideas. Um, there wasn't so much of a group think where um, someone would say something and everyone agreed upon it. It was a lot of different uh, differing opini opinions. And I think that's what I, I admired the most and aligned with myself and my values is uh, allowing to be open-minded and to uh, see other people's opinions and learning from different experiences as well, too. Thank you, Justin. Angela? Yeah, I would say picking back up of what Justin said, I think what I really valued the most and saw during my four years at Northwood was the emphasis of experiential learning as well as taking real life stuff that's happening and moving and learning more from just a textbook and learning from life events that are happening. I know some of my favorite experiences were in some of my finance classes where every day we were required to read the Wall Street Journal and come in and talk about current events that are impacting what we're learning in the textbook. And I think for me, it just helped emphasize my passion for business. And I was surrounded by all my peers who had the same passion. So it made achieving your goals really easy. And your professors were there to support you because everyone had the same intention of getting a great job in business and setting yourself up for success. Thank you, Angela. Appreciate that feedback. The next question are for the brothers, Jared and Justin. What was your best memory while attending Northwood? Jared, we'll start with you. Well, Justin's not going to appreciate this one because I feel like I'm going to steal it from him. But definitely the semester in Europe was one of the best memories that I've had. Uh, and it was really just a, an amazing opportunity, especially to, you know, it, we, we traveled, I can't remember the exact number, but I want to say to nine different countries in 12 weeks and it, it was an amazing experience to be able to see all the different cultures and uh, really just collaborate with some of these uh, amazing people and professors overseas in order to continue to learn but learn firsthand about the different culture uh, the cultural differences that we all experience and how it impacts our businesses because believe it or not you know one of the things that you learn at Northwood is that business is just cooperating with people. It's people co co cooperating with each other to help each other out. And by understanding these cultural differences, we really can understand and appreciate more how to help each other out and be able to understand each other to figure out what we want. And so that semester in Europe was a great experience and I would really recommend it to anyone who's going into college. Thank you, Jared. Things to add to that, Justin. <laughs> yes, uh, I knew exactly what he was going to say when he said that, um, but I'm going to piggyback a little bit off it and then expand upon it. Um, so yeah, studying abroad was definitely my favorite experience, and to anyone curious about it or to anyone who isn't even thinking about studying abroad, I say take advantage of the opportunity while you can, because uh, the semester in Europe, seeing so many different countries in Europe, uh, being able to work with a close-knit group, uh, I think there was nine or ten of us together for that 12-week period. Uh, you really create good relationships. You get to see the world all the while going to school and never setting you back. So uh, I say take advantage of that opportunity because it's, uh, it's one in a million. As well as uh, kind of just piggybacking off that experience with my brother, uh, just being able to go to school with my brother too is, is really cool. I was able to do uh, two years at Northwood, and then I recruited my brother to come in. Uh, so he was a freshman when I was a junior. And then when I was going through my master's program, my little sister actually joined Northwood as well too as a freshman. So uh, I was able to kind of recruit my family members into coming to Northwood just because I valued my experience, uh, the school, the professors, the students. Uh, overall, it was just a really great uh, four years at Northwood. and. I think, yeah, that was just probably some of the best experiences of my life was, was going to Northwood and getting a chance to take advantage of all these opportunities. 
Thank you, Justin. And thanks for keeping it in the family, too. We appreciate that. Um, Dan, do we have any questions at all that have come in from our audience? Yes, we do. We have two. So this first one will be primarily aimed at our alumni, and then there's one that will be for everybody. So the first one, mostly for our alumni. Which of the skills that you learned at Northwood have been most relevant in your professional careers? Angela, do you want to take that one? Take that. So I think what I am using the most for my time at Northwood in my career has been the collaboration. And I think that was really fostered through all the leadership opportunities you have on campus. I know when Sarah was listing off everyone's different activities and clubs they're involved in, you'll probably find that everyone was in a leadership position of some sort during their four years. And it's really nice because you do have those opportunities to work with small teams and learn and grow those skill sets. So then when you're graduating and coming out and working your professional career, you already know how to work with a team. You know how to work with others and lead others. And I found that that's something that's been really valuable and I've enjoyed and uh, made the transition coming out of college into the professional world a lot easier. Thank you. And what was that second question, Dan? The next question for anybody would be, how was the transition from a small high school to college is the first part. And what is one way to get to know other students? Adam, do you want to take that one? Yeah, sure. So for me, the transition really wasn't that bad. Um, Northwood's a fairly small school. So like from the classroom aspect, the class sizes stayed the same. Um, living in the dorms, I got to know a lot of the, the other guys pretty quick. And, uh, you know, all the members of the freshman class. And one of the best ways to get to know other students is to get involved early on in the clubs and stuff. As you saw during the introductions, all of us were involved in at least a handful of clubs. So it's it's not hard. Just get out there, you know, make friends, and the transition's pretty easy in my experience. Great. Thank you, Adam. At this point, I am going to turn it over to Mr. Greg Stifler, who is the director of our Career Services Department. And he's going to share with you a little bit about all of the resources available there. Greg? All right. Terrific. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, one of the things I think you've heard a number of times today has been about the personal attention. Uh, coming from, If you're worried about coming from a smaller school, knowing you're still going to get that attention. Um, Martin Yates is a famous author, writes a lot of books about employment and employment skills. And his last book started with a group of numbers on the first page. It said it was the number 50, the number 4 the number three, and then the numbers seven dash 10. And basically what he was saying is that the students who are coming in this year as freshmen can expect to work for the next 50 years once they graduate college. Um, those same students are gonna change jobs every four years and their uh, complete industry is gonna change, their career is gonna change at least three times. Um, the seven to 10 talks about the economic downturn that every one of the students is gonna experience just because of the economy. And so I bring that up is that we look at career services, it's not just a, a, a service that you drop in and you get placed in a job, but it really starts from day one on thinking for the big picture down the road, how is this gonna benefit me and build my soft skills and meet the right people? So um, it's been referred to a couple of times, we do uh, three career fairs a year on campus. Um, this year, almost 40% of the companies that recruited at our fairs were first time uh, vendors or first time employers on campus which coming out of COVID was huge because they really have a need for filling, filling a lot of spots. Um, Debbie Schuber is our internship coordinator. She and I this year have done so far over 200 one-hour, one-on-one appointments with students. Um, that would be working on resumes, cover letters, LinkedIn profiles. Um, this week, with graduation happening next week, we have done a ton of mock interviews with students who are worried about uh, making a good first impression and going into that employer and nailing it and getting the job. So a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention um, to make sure that you're meeting the right people and you're, you're kind of building the, the things outside the classroom that are gonna matter for your career. Um, the blue link and the handshake and that logo there, um, handshake is used by about 400,000 companies in the United States. There's about 600, uh, minimum 600 schools. I think I have that number a little low. Um, that take place or use this career platform. Uh, so for us, that's where students 
can find jobs that were spent specifically to Northwood by people who want to hire Northwood students and Northwood alums. Um, at five o'clock this afternoon, we had 300, 932 jobs posted, 413 internships, and 15 co-ops just in the state of Michigan. So those are employers who want Northwood educated uh, entrepreneurs and free market uh, thinkers. And so that's a huge piece for us is to be able to plug uh, students into that network, but also knowing that we've got 60,000 Northwood alums out there who um, are, are really looking out for fellow Timberwolves. And that's what the blue link is. Um, we have our own version of LinkedIn. Um, it's really the alumni database and students can go in there and do searches if they're researching a certain company to find out if we have alums there. And it's through that site that we, um, that we have a mentoring program and that we're trying to connect alums with current students and then build those relationships again to help for that long-term uh, long prognosis, I guess. Um, for us, I think one of the things that separates us in career services as well is that the, uh, the services we offer are for life. Um, it doesn't matter how long you've been out of school, where your career path took you, um, part of your education is for us to continue to support you. So we have a lot of students that do come back for that as well. So if we want to go to the next slide, there we go. So uh, when we talked about some of the other things that we do on campus, on the right-hand side talked about um, our, our different fairs. We had in-person and um, virtual. But the other slide on the left, that was actually um, an internship networking night that we did at Dow Diamond. It's a local, uh, local baseball affiliate, the Dow uh, 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 Great Lakes Loons. Uh, but we invited 25 companies who could not make it to our career fairs earlier in the year, mainly due to travel restriction, um, but said we really want to meet with students. And so they came into an event that was a networking event, but it was also um, an etiquette building event to teach students how to walk up to a stranger, do the elevator pitch, shake their hands, and understand that business is really about networking, meeting strangers, and turning them into friends. And so we're really proud of that, and that's why I, I wanted to throw those logos up there too, that it's, it's a constant work in progress to find what's going to be the next thing that really helps our students stand out uh, compared to, you know, to graduates from other schools too. And then I think the next slide should probably just be my contact information, um, stifler at northwood.edu. And I know that you've got uh, tons of information from all of us and that uh, we're here to answer any questions you have. But that was just really going to be my piece talking about uh, your future as Northwood graduate. So um, I do know that um, I'm going to introduce, uh, reintroduce uh, Dr. Patty Tim, and she's going to talk a little bit more about the actual academic side of Northwood. So Patty. Thanks, Greg. So this slide gives you the list of all of our majors, and I just want to highlight some of, of these majors. Many of them are familiar. You have seen them at other colleges, whether it's um, accounting, economics, finance, but we have quite a few unique majors that um, we are really proud of. Um, we have our automotive aftermarket management, so the aftermarket industry, automotive marketing and management. We have franchise management and um, entrepreneurship, healthcare management, insurance risk management. So those are majors that you aren't going to find at every college that you, you look for. And you'll have the opportunity during your time with us, we've done some significant changes to our curriculum. And as new students starting this next fall, our students are going to have more flexibility to have electives. So it will become easier to double major or pick up a couple minors or just take classes in areas that you are interested in and build your own customized curriculum. I do want to point out that we have some bachelors of science degrees in um, computer science. We have it in information systems and cybersecurity and in data analytics. And what I want to point out is what is different about those more technological STEM related programs. What's different about ours than at other schools is that even our um, BS degrees 
those students will still take the, that business core, that professional core of classes. So you'll still understand management, accounting, finance. And that's extremely important when we talk to prospective employers because you can learn the technical skills and be very well prepared for a technical job and that first five years of your career but with those professional skills, those business skills, you're actually qualified to manage those technical people. And um, for example, cybersecurity. If I am responsible for protecting the data of my company, I better understand what each different department has in terms of data, um, vulnerable files, what's going to happen if they're compromised, to do risk analysis, and I also need to be able to build a business case for any of the improvements, the perhaps capital expenditures that we need to have to be able to increase cybersecurity. So we're really proud of the way our technical degrees are also business degrees, and um, our employers are, are very happy with, with the results of that. They are the ones that have recommended that. So next slide, please. I don't even know if I need to talk about this slide because you've heard it from our students and our alums. You're not just going to learn in the classroom. You're going to learn outside of the classroom and not just in an internship, which is very important, but while you're on our campus, there's so many opportunities. There's on-campus employment, um, if you're an international student, there's the OPT availability. We have practicums, which are shorter internships. But what really broadens the Northwood experience and gives our students more opportunities are the student-run events. We have um, some signature events that are student-run such as our auto show, our fashion showcase, the Stafford dinner. But we also have, as you heard from the other students and alumni, we have students that actually work on event planning teams and work alongside our advancement and our alumni, alumni department to put on awards, galas, large events that are fundraisers. Um, Freedom Week, I heard Freedom Week, I heard um, the Finance Association bringing in speakers and actually being a part of networking to bring in speakers to campus. And I am always amazed when I walk into a campus event that may on the surface appear to just be an event some office put together that there's a student behind it all they're doing the planning, they're working with catering, they're working with our business office, they're working with our maintenance and physical plant department, they're working with media services. So those hands-on experiences are unique and all of our students really have that opportunity if they choose to take advantage of it. There's, there's just limitless opportunities that, that you can, can participate in. And each, each day there's something new. So that's one of the things that draws me to Northwood. And when I walk around the auto show and talk to parents, they talk about this is where the, our student belongs. They're getting an experience they wouldn't get anywhere else. They're meeting other students who are just as motivated, just as driven, and it's hard to articulate, but our parents and our students do understand the Northwood difference. So thank you for allowing me to give you the overview of academics. Sarah, back to you. Thank you so much, Dr. Tim. I am grateful for you all joining us tonight. And if you would like to get more information about future events, scholarships, or open houses, I would encourage you to text INFO to 684-332. We typically have open houses two to three times per year. 
We also host personal campus visits Monday through Saturday, which can be scheduled online at www.northwood.edu. You are welcome to contact me anytime if I can be of any assistance. Feel free to call, text, or email me. At this point, I am going to give our audience about 30 more seconds to chime in with that Q&A box on the right-hand side for any additional questions for our staff, our students, or our, alum our alumni. And then I'm going to wrap up this webinar by offering you a short virtual tour of our beautiful campus located in Midland, Michigan. Thanks again for attending. So. We'll, we'll give you guys about 30 more seconds and then we'll play that video for you all. Welcome to Northwood University in Midland, Michigan. I'm Chad, and I am excited to take you around campus to show you what life is like as a Timberwolf. North Village is the perfect place to live on campus. Each student gets their own private room while sharing a common living room, kitchen, and bathroom. On the main floor, students can kick back and relax, grab a quick snack at the 24-7 Marketplace, or enjoy an upscale meal at the Bistro. We have four main academic buildings on campus, equipped with state-of-the-art lecture halls, breakout rooms, computer labs, and lounges. Northwood's small class sizes allow students to engage with each other and their professors who have real-world work experience. We also offer a world-class graduate school for students who want to take their education to the next level. The Strohsacker Library is a great place to hang out in between classes. We have study spaces, access to research and learning materials specific to your major, and student tutors for any subject. You'll often find students studying in the quiet zones or preparing for a big presentation. The Dow Commons Dining Hall, otherwise known as the CAF, is where students can come and enjoy a wide variety of food options like a pasta station, ethnic cuisine, and more. And if you have a night class or you're studying late, we have late night dining so you can still grab a bite to eat. This is the Student Union, where you can come and study, watch a game with friends, or just hang out. It also houses our student organizations, like the Student Government Association and Greek Life. The bookstore is here too, with easy access to school supplies and Northwood gear. The Hawk Student Life Center is one of the busiest spots on campus. This facility has three courts, an indoor track, a dance room with exercise classes, saunas, and a weight room. The Wolf Den also provides you healthy meals, smoothies, and protein shakes for your workouts. This is the Mall Walk, one of the most recognizable places at Northwood. This path can take you to every building on campus with some cool hangout spots, like Founders Garden. Here, you'll find students soaking up the sun when it's warm out, or gathering by the fire pit when it's a bit cooler. The Pierre Marquette Rail Trail is a paved 30-mile path that runs through the heart of campus. Students can ride their bikes, rollerblade, or walk to downtown. The famous Tridge serves as the centerpiece of Midland's bustling downtown district. We have 20 different athletic teams here, including basketball, football, soccer, and even an esports team. If you love sports, we have games on campus year round. You can find your True North here at Northwood University. We'd love for you to come by and check out campus for yourself. Go Timberwolves!